This is, I think, uh, Winner's Quarters. I think this is Winner's Quarters. What's popping? We got Wolf Revan. <laughs> Wolf is player two. And what are we expecting? What are we expecting here? Yeah. Uh, I think I think Revan is certainly the favorite. Played Revan earlier. Yeah, probably Revan, the number two Kirby in the country or in, in North America, I think. Probably number one would be Hammerheart. Oh, But Wolf, off to an early lead here. Takes that first stock. Revan showing his patience. This is a matchup that Revan is very strong in. For a long time, he uh, he shared the region with another good Kirby player named Handsome Tom, or H Tom for short. And they would uh, go back and forth playing grand finals. And they were weeklies with, uh, with the Kirby Ditto. Can you give me like the rundown? What's the deal? Why why does one Kirby win over another? Well, kind of the mini game here is gonna be the fight over height. So the Kirby that's higher up tends to have a massive advantage. Because it's very dip Yeah, you wanna play above. It's very difficult to uh to anti-air against Kirby because of the fact that he can mix up his approach with all his jumps. You know, he can just fast fall jump, fast fall jump, and you can never like react in time when he does choose to go for the approach. Uh, also, Kirby doesn't really have an up air, so it's difficult to challenge the player that's above. However, Wolf, we can see here, isn't playing quite to that style. You know, Revan's playing what you would consider like the traditional Kirby Ditto style, playing for height. Wolf plays a bit more grounded. He really likes his ground movement. He really likes to fish for F smashes. And obviously you can't F smash if you're in the air. So, Wolf's just gonna go kind of play on the ground, and we can see, like, Revan forced to adapt to someone who's not willing to play the minigame, maybe the way he's expecting it to be played. Right. Kind of forcing approach to play. Yeah. Forced, forced to action. Shield pressure is so nice. Yeah. Wolf keeping it very even so far. I think that was a little bit of a misinput. Both these guys loving the F-Smash. Revan able to recover pretty easily there. And so you can see Revan's immediate impulse is to go grab top platform and take that top platform position. Wolf, not so interested in that. And he finds the edge guard. These players, they have a history? They ever played before? Or they I really don't know. Revan, uh, you know, hasn't traveled a whole lot uh, recently. Wolf, sort of an up-and-coming player. I guess he started started maybe around 2017, 2018. So. These guys completely even. I'll have to admit, really not the result I expected. I, I thought this would be a little bit of a stomp for Revan, but Wolf putting up a big fight. And you can see the way he plays on the ground. It's, it's very unusual in this matchup, but it's, it's really working for him. Surprised you're not getting uh, not getting punched more for just sticking on the ground and like trying to poke the fire. Yeah, yeah, no, it's working for him. Here we can see him take height a little like, bit. Playing up is not as strong of a position. Maybe it's perceived to be because I guess the if you if you're, if you have a decent read on what they're going to do, like what their preferred neutral tool is, then you're able to poke effectively because they're gonna have to mix up or they're gonna get hit. Yeah, so Revan uh, does seal that out with a nice edge guard there. Really well done, edge guard. Do you but, think that's a download game? Do you think next game is going to be a lot like Mark the Watch? I don't know. I feel know. like, I feel like I the unconventional style it would not mix it up as much. You don't think that that's going to be. I think Revan, I think Revan can adapt. I feel like he was not... 
doing enough job, a good enough job of using that advantage, the top platform advantage. Um, uh, you know, when you control height, you can approach in ways that are really difficult to react to. And it felt like he wasn't wasn't doing quite enough of that. Um, I feel so like here we have Wolf we take at the top. A little bit more. Wolf to come to him. Yeah. Which he is doing. Just lobby stuff like that. Starts that wall with the backers. Revan very good at the edge guard. Wolf oh, goes low. Does the shield pressure. Yeah. The one thing about this matchup, you know, the up tilt not quite as strong. Uh, since it just puts them above you. It's not so dark, right? It is not. Absolutely not. So it will hit someone very high. It can actually kill sometimes if they're at high enough percent. Ooh, no TI there from Revan. He just eats the F smash. Yeah, maybe didn't expect the fair. That fair he did expect, you know, get some TI. It's interesting to see how people follow up their their knockdowns in this game. I feel like tech chasing is less prevalent as it is in some of the other games, but it's still really vital. Yeah. Well, there's no uh, jab resetting. So sometimes missing the tech can not be, you know, it's it's not too vulnerable of a position. So you can see there, Revan tried to up be kind of far away from the ledge. I think his idea was, ooh, nice F smash. And he taunts. Revan may be a little mad here. Kind of just establishing like, the, yeah. the, the Kirby dominant. Well, not really looking as dominant as uh, as he yeah. might have hoped. It's pretty even. Yeah, see what you're saying. Wolf, Wolf. right above, you know, I was able to fall down. Revan anti aired with the oh, Nair. Wow. And here's great. We're seeing a little issue with Wolf that we haven't commented on yet, which is that he does not DI. He's he's a little opposed to DI. He won't do it. Yeah. yeah, he won't do it, and so, you know, Revan has a bit of that advantage that he can escape Wolf's combos, but Wolf can't escape his. But Wolf doing a good job fighting over top lat now. Owns that height. Yeah. Maybe he... Ooh! Revan gets a little too aggressive. Still has most of his jumps. Yeah, nice fastball. And Wolf, just a little too patient, I think. Doesn't pressure the ledge. This is could be a stop. Well, the fair hits him. Crazy reversal. Yeah, wow. That was really the whole set right there. But the fair manages to connect. And Wolf, anything could happen. 60% might as well not be lead. Now, Wolf gets another lease on life here. Another opportunity. Take this to a game three. Oh, just finds a. Ray Bear and gets above him. Wow. Just downloading. Trying to see what options, see how how Revan's is taking top flat, see what they're doing when they're jumping. I think going in and getting that open rather than playing it safe and waiting for Revan to, to take advantage of the her hand and like approach and try to and react and sort of take a proactive approach. And Wolf finds that giant F smash. Wolf, a huge fan of the forward smash. Oh, oh the trade! But can he make it back? Oh he does! Wow, and Wolf takes it! This is going to a game three. That's five, right? No, this is the best of three. Oh, really? Very close. Blue. Okay. Yeah, switch into the blue. Like switch. And immediately goes to top platform. See, there you go. See, that's that unreactable downer that you could do from top platform that makes that position so powerful. And we're seeing the DI here from Revan. Using that DI to minimize the impact of the Wolves combo. Within a percent of each other for a second. Yeah. And they've just been so close this whole match. Wolf finds that fair again. Within 3%. Really just. Crapping for this thing, every, every straight hit. I feel like Wolf jumps up within the next. If there, Wolf would have jumped up within the next like, five and a half seconds. Having an idea of what, what's going to happen, right? Thinking about what, how they're going to approach this plan. 
The thing is, if Revan, they don't work, they're not getting punished. Revan only stays above top platform. He's not really pressuring Wolf when Wolf's at Wolf the is, bottom. Wolf is kind of... Wolf, he calls him out with the S-Smash. Wolf kind of playing a mental advantage state because they are the ones who's reacting and trying to figure out when they're going to approach rather than Revan just like, taking advantage of the spot. Interesting, interesting. Wolf, I Wolf just hanging out here. Maybe he wanted to F smash Revan uh, if Revan jumps up. He's nearly laughing percent here for the stock now. Yeah, taking that first stock. You, you see a lot of trades in this matchup, so having the stock lead really powerful. Now, Wolf, you can tell how much Wolf wants a forward smash. He wants it and he finds it! What a call. What a call out there from Wolf. Wolf does even up the stocks and manages to jump above Revan, but gets caught. Yeah, this is tough because of just how much height he has, but he accidentally falls below the ledge. Yeah, he meant to fast fall the ledge. That can be so hard to do. Yeah. Having one full stock lead here in this matchup seems brutal. Yeah, it is a big lead. But looking to take advantage right there. Another, again, getting above, you know, well, playing low, but when, they, when they're when they in the air, getting the reversals, they're doing a pretty good job of getting above. Well, the upbeat almost kills them. Barely. What's connected that? Well, they're stopping. Trying to, yeah, trying to pick his position. That's an idea of how they want to approach here, I'm guessing. Go now, yep. Uh, jumps in with his last jump with that bear. It's a bit of a mountain. Oh, finds okay. the first bear again. Oh, no. And Revan's got jumps. Yeah. yeah all these trades, but when you're at the lower stock count, it's not good for you. Exactly, yeah. Revan's got to be happy with the trades. Let's just trade percent back and forth. Works for him. With that high dare. Trying to call it a jump, yeah. but both with nerves of steel just sits there. the air aerial. But that might... smash no just goes wow. to the grab. Or throw too. will kill, yeah. Good, good um recognition. Yeah, good know knowledge. That that and that will kill. Yeah, you can kind of memorize the kill percents for that forward throw. It is a common uh Kirby task. One or two combos, this uh, evens it up. The wolf just gets a little early here. Yeah. We're kind of in the same position we're in that at the previous stock. The stock's even, but Revan with a huge percentage lead. So can he find a kill? It seems like he hasn't really been able to land bears against Wolf. Which is kind of the move that, that really lets you convert this percentage lead. And it, you see there, he's going for the bears and they're not working. Wolf waiting and then F smashing. I expect to be spamming Wolf with a run up back throw, kind of unusual. Yeah, they're really just, uh, once they hit neutral, or when they reset, they they sort of just end up playing this mini game where Revan's is, uh, Revan's is camping, not camping. It's like playing the top platform position. Yeah. And then Wolf is getting an idea of where, where it's safe to approach, and then hops to the side platform, and then Revan sort of has to make a decision. And then that puts Wolf in an interesting spot to, like, jump up real high and see where they can pull up, like, fair back here. Just, like, get a trick in at least. That Revan finds oh, it could be a big combo that we're weak back here. Just barely misses. Lapton Lapton stock at the here. Full full stock lead for very many. Yeah. Oh, finds that fastball in there. Very hard to react. Wolf, I think he wanted to F smash the other direction. It's a dash attack. Yeah, Revan saving the approaches for the last game. With a fast fall bear. Oh. Good. Can he get the edge guard? No. Yeah. Oh. Well, big Swapping. commitment. Yeah, on the downer. Now you lose your position. Yeah, that's the thing when you commit to an area right, like that. When, when, when is people throwing the side pipe? Makes his way up. Revan holding on to top platform as well as he can. On that back here. Oh, oh, tries to go for a fastball in there, but the tech away saves Wolf. And Wolf really holding, side by side. yeah, holding that side platform. This is game three, last stock. They're both gonna play as safe as oh, possible. Wolf finds oh, a fastball there, but can't. Yeah, can't quite get to him. Yeah, really... 
And you can see how Revan immediately takes the top position, yeah. Yep, going side platform. He's playing the minigame. Uh, Wolf making his way up. It's back here when... And Revan really aggressive here. I wonder if he wanted to F-Smash, but he gets a runoff. This is such a bad position for Wolf. Can he make it back? Revan looking for the edge guard. Both these guys at really high percent. You, you don't want to come from live, but that's, that's what you're game playing the whole time. Now that you're down a stock, it's sort of just bad. Yeah, but as Wolf, you have to make something happen. You need to take this stock. Yeah. But getting above... Finds the fair. Not, fair is not a kill move. Does get that? No! Gets back here before he can nair. And his big edge guard here. No, Revan lets him back. Wolf finds the bear, and we're going to last stock game three. One gimp, one down, one down air up to the back air, down air, like one Red. minute left. So yeah, Revan maybe playing the clock. Not, not a not a bad thing to look at. You got a minute left on the clock. It's not that long. Yeah, you have a massive percent lead. You don't really have to do anything. Forcing Wolf to approach there, and the, the clock's taking down. You have yeah, to. One minute left. Wolf. Wolf playing very disciplined. Yeah, yeah, not gonna approach, you know, I mean, it's kind of a long time. Finds an opening, good DI from Revan. Still not able to Stays above him. Kill, but finds a fair. Here. Good DI. Yeah, nice. But 70% is looking oh, Finds a down air, this should be... No, he dash. doesn't punish! Oh. But he runs up dash grab, that'll kill oh, him yeah. at the top! That was a good set. Really yeah, really good stuff. I love that patience from Wolf on really, the final yeah. stock. You know, a lot of people, when they see a minute ticking down, yeah. they're like, I have to attack him right now. But 50 seconds is a long time in Smash. You don't have to just immediately yeah. jump him. He waits a few beats, and then he got an opening. No lie, I gotta play the loser. <laughs> okay. Good luck, man.